The Gauteng Rapid Rail Integrated Network, or GRIN, is planned to enhance mobility, connect communities, and stimulate economic growth across Gauteng. Part of planning for the GRIN extension requires a meticulous four-step process of securing the rail reserve for the future railway line legislated by the Gauteng Transport Infrastructure Act, or GTIA. So, how does a new provincial railway route come to life? It begins with route determination, a strategic process where provincial transport authorities undertake technical studies and environmental investigations by using advanced planning tools and environmental data to identify potential route alignments and future station locations. This process enables the executive authority to determine the future railway route with consideration of public comments on the proposed route alignment and environmental investigations. Urban centres, residential zones and areas of economic activity are examined to decide where the new stations should be positioned. Geographical and environmental factors are considered to undertake the preliminary design. A stakeholder engagement process is a GTIA requirement that ensures stakeholder comments, inputs and concerns are carefully reviewed and incorporated into the decision-making process for the recommended route. Once a route is determined, the next step is preliminary design. Here, the railway line and stations are designed in accordance with a determined route. This is done by considering the optimal locations for stations and route alignment. Stakeholder engagement with affected parties is also undertaken and comments and inputs considered. The next step after preliminary design is proclamation of the railway line, which is an essential part of the process and refers to the official declaration of rail reserves and securing the land necessary for railway development. So this process ensures that the future infrastructure is protected and land is properly acquired and allocated. Legislation such as the GTIA guarantee that this process is transparent and thorough. The final stage in the railway development process is expropriation, which involves land or land rights. Under the Gauteng Transport Infrastructure Act, when land or land right or property is required for public transport projects, an expropriation process ensures that landowners and affected parties are compensated fairly. Expropriation involves land or land right and property owners. In each step along the way, stakeholders have the opportunity to comment, provide input and raise concerns. This collaboration shapes the development of the rail infrastructure, strengthens trust and ensures that every decision benefits both the public and private sectors. The attention to community and stakeholder feedback and lawful procedures makes the Gauteng Rapid Rail Integrated Network a model for sustainable transport infrastructure. The Gauteng Rapid Rail Integrated Network, powered by the Gauteng Transport Infrastructure Act. Growing Gauteng together through smart mobility.